Welcome back everyone, this is Dave from Cormorant Productions, here to talk about an article that I stumbled upon, titled, When Sterling K. Brown Thought This Is Us Might Be Jumping the Shark, written by Heidi Venable. Sterling K. Brown is of course the co-star of the hit series This Is Us, that I regularly recap and have commentary videos on. As it turns out, he had some of the same concerns that I did after watching the season premiere of season 5 of This Is Us. When we found out at the very end of the episode that Laurel did not die from the overdose, as William had told him. I was not exactly thrilled by that particular plot point, but as it turns out, this didn't quite turn into the soap opera that I feared it might. The Cinema Blend article reads as follows. This Is Us has provided viewers with plot twists and surprise endings in nearly every episode of its five season run so far. But one mystery that was introduced in the season five premiere centered around Sterling K. Brown's Randall Pearson. Had Brown concerned the show was jumping the shark before things played out in episode six, Birth Mother. The season 5 premiere, 40 part 1 and 2, shows Randall's birth mother, Laurel, Jennifer C. Holmes, being pronounced dead after an overdose, while Randall's birth father, William Hill, Ron Seppis Jones, who actually didn't play William in this scene, Ron Seppis Jones played the adult version of the character, Jeremy Nikia has played the younger version. The article gets this wrong. But anyway, moving on. Fled with his newborn son. In the episode's final moment, however, Laurel gasped back to life, unbeknownst to William. Bringing characters back to life after they've already been established as dead has become an increasingly popular trope for TV dramas, albeit a risky one. And Sterling K. Brown said this particular plot twist was concerning to him at first. Here's how he put it to TV Line. When Dan Fogelman, series creator, first pitched that his mom is still alive, my first thought is, alright, are we jumping the shark? Are we ma still maintaining the integrity of this whole thing? He was like, she's not alive, but what happened was, we thought she'd OD'd, but she didn't. I was like, okay, so then how come she hasn't come to see me? If she's been alive, and she had this child, then why did this she not make her presence known in my life? And then they answered that question. There was a series of things that I was like, Alright, does this make sense? Does this track? And it all checked out. I should never doubt Dan. Skipping down in the article, uh, Sterling K. Brown had some comments about that lake scene. That some fans found beautiful, and others were not a fan of. He says, There was an interesting thing for me, and I don't think this is acutely stated in the episode, but that moment of release for Randall, and the idea that he had this encounter with his mom in the wake, were not an overtly religious show, but it has spiritual overtones. And Randall, primarily, is a man of science, right? And not so much a man of faith. But this instance, because he lives with anxiety and whatnot, and I do believe to a certain extent beyond just the chemical level, it's hard for anxiety and faith to exist in the same space. So for him to have his recognition that this woman actually loved me, that I was the product of two people who loved me, but circumstances conspired in such a way that they weren't able to share their love with me in a direct manner. I'm okay with that. Alright, that is all I got for you from this article. I have another rewatch video coming Monday, and the series should be returning proper on February 9th, provided there's not another delay. If you like this video and my content and want to support the channel, there are a number of ways to do so. You can join my Facebook group, Cormor Productions. You can join my other Facebook group, This Is Us Discussion, which will post se several of my videos, and where you can discuss This Is Us topics. 
You can follow me on Twitter at Core Productions. You can buy something from the Zazzle store, Corman Productions. And of course, you can like, share, and comment on this video. And subscribe to my channel. This is Dave from Corman Productions, signing off.